Professor Gibson, I, I know that you have an interest in energy metabolism in, in dementia and Alzheimer's disease in particular, uh, in particular associated with mitochondrial function. Could you give us an outline of why you think this is so important in, in, the, in the pathophysiology of, of the disease? Okay, so in Alzheimer's disease, there is always a reduced use of glucose. Uh, every Alzheimer patient has reduced glucose. Many people feel this is just a part of the brain uh, degenerating, but we feel that this could be causative. And we've made measurements in brain, and the processes that are down in brain are all dependent upon thiamine or vitamin B1. And there is a long history of vitamin B1 or thiamine deficiency causing memory deficits in humans. These are very similar to what happens in an Alzheimer patient. And we can then model those changes in animals and in cells and proteins. And what we find is those processes are very important in handling oxidative stress and glucose metabolism. And if we uh, make animals deficient in these same processes, then they form plaques and tangles. And this provides strong evidence then that the changes in glucose can drive the plaques and tangles. Also, that suggests that, and if you make an animal thiamine deficient, they make plaques and tangles. And if you take an animal that already has plaques and tangles, and you treat them with vitamin B1, you greatly diminish the plaques and the tangles, and you improve their memory. So this suggests that perhaps this would be effective in, in humans. And there are also diabetics who are thiamine deficient, and there are compounds that have been used in diabetics uh, in double-blind trials in Germany to show that these compounds are very safe. So we have, uh, we have a compound that uh, works in the best animal models of plaques and tangles. It also is safe in humans. Mm -hmm. And so we think this is a perfect way to test the idea that the changes in glucose are primary. So we've initiated a clinical trial giving this to Alzheimer patients, looking at their glucose metabolism, and then also uh, looking to see clinical benefit. Thank you very much. <laughs>